Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to make the player jump in a 2D platformer game in Unity. In the previous video we looked at how to make the player move horizontally so that the player could walk uh, left and right on platforms and we have a script here called player controller which is currently attached to the player object in the scene. All right, so if we go back and have a look at that script, what we added was variables for speed and direction and we also have access to the rigid body 2D component, which is attached to the player object so that we can change its velocity. So each frame we're getting the uh, information about which direction the player is moving in based on which keys are being pressed by the user. And then what we're doing was adjusting the velocity on the x-axis. All right, but for jumping, it's gonna be a little bit different. So if we go back to Unity, and we go to edit and project settings and have a look at the input manager. We can see if we reveal uh, axes and horizontal, uh, we can see that for horizontal movement, we're using the left and right arrow keys and also uh, the A and D keys to be able to move left and right. But for jumping, it's not actually here in that horizontal uh, input manager information. If we scroll down a little bit and go to jump and reveal that, we can see that currently the space button is mapped for jumping. All right, and we could change that if we wanted to. We could um, put in a different key for jumping if we like, but I'm just gonna leave it as the space bar for now. And so for jumping, what we're gonna do is refer to, uh, we're gonna get, uh, it, we're gonna find out which button is being used for jumping, and we're gonna check if that button's been pressed, and if so, make the player move up. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the code again. And I've got a variable called speed for movement on the horizontal axis, but I'm gonna create another variable. It's a float and I can make it public as well. And this one's gonna be called jump speed. And the reason why I'm making a separate speed variable for jumping is that remember with jumping, we're also working with gravity. So the value for jumping or speed value for jumping is gonna to need to be a little bit higher than speed for moving left and right because we're also working against gravity. So I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. I'm gonna uh, try eight. And then we can always adjust that value either here in the code or because this is a public variable, we can just change it in the Unity editor as well. So I've got a variable there for jump speed. And if we scroll down to the update method and just uh, inside the update method, we go just to the end there after those other conditional statements there. What we're gonna do is add a new conditional statement, a new if statement. And in this if statement, we're going to check if the jump button that's specified in the input manager has been pressed down. So we're gonna find out what, what button is for jumping, which is currently the space button. And we're gonna check if that button has been pressed. And if it has been pressed, so I'll just add our curly braces there. If the jump button, which is the space key, has been pressed, then what we're gonna do is adjust the player's velocity. And, oops, so we're gonna say player.velocity equals, we're gonna use a new vector two. And in the parentheses there, what we're gonna do for the X axis is maintain the velocity. So whatever the current velocity is on the X axis, that's not gonna change. What we're doing is just adjusting the velocity on the Y axis. And we're just gonna use the jump speed value for velocity on the Y axis, which is currently just eight. Okay, so that's the code that we need to add for jumping. Now, the way that jumping is gonna work uh, to begin with is that whenever you're pressing that jump key, which is the space bar, uh, whenever you're pressing that button, the player is gonna move up. And if you tap it, the player will move up and then fall back down. But if you hold that jumping button down, the player is just gonna keep going up. All right, so we can adjust that a little bit further and that's what we're gonna look at in the next video is how to make the player only be able to jump when they're actually on a platform or on the ground and not just continuously jump like a jetpack. All right, so make sure that that code is saved and go back to Unity. And I'm gonna play this game again and run the game. All right, now I can move left and right with either the A and D keys or left and right arrow keys. And now if I press spacebar, I jump up. I actually jump pretty far, so I might want to decrease that jump speed value just a little bit. 
Um, but you can see when I press, press or tap the spacebar, I can move up and I can also while jumping still move left or right. And that's because I'm maintaining the velocity on the X axis. But when I hold down the space bar, or actually, sorry, when I just keep tapping it over and over again, I can jump higher and just keep jumping higher and higher, kind of like a jetpack. So if you don't want jumping to work like that, then what you're gonna to need to do is, um, before allowing the player to jump, you're gonna to need to check whether they're actually touching ground or touching a platform. We're gonna look at that in the next video, um, but for adjusting the speed here for jumping, because the jump speed is a public variable, remember you can just change that in here and you don't have to go back to the code. So I'm just gonna adjust that a little bit. And now that's that's looking a little bit better. All right, so I can get over to that platform now and get up to that platform. And uh, yeah, so jumping is, is working that way. So in the next video, we're gonna look at how to improve jumping by only being able to jump when we are on a platform or on the ground. That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching.